I'm Sandra Auzo from Delta State. Okay, it happened that my business has been having ups and downs. I am a, a client to call me and they will tell me, okay, they will get back to me and they will not get back to me. I'm into, I'm into interior business anyway. So there was a particular client that I've done a job for and he said, okay, we can move to the next phase. So he asked me to give him quotation and I did. So since then, I've been waiting for him to give me feedback, and he has not given me feedback. So other clients will call, and they will tell me, okay, what will it take you to do this for me? And I will tell them, and they will not come back. There is something the enemy has done. Are you getting it? Just listen. I would bless this hand by the grace of God. I will spread this anointing water. They will start seeing it. You know signboard. What's the meaning of signboard? Signboard. And when you see signboard, show what? Direction is. It give you. It's a sign. It show you sign. What is happening there? Yes. Your signboard is covered. Can you see? If it's covered, you see a signboard that is covered. Wrap. Do you know what they write there? Yes. But you know there is a signboard. Yes, Your business. Yes. Are you getting it? Yes, Your business. You are good though. Eh? Nobody wants to conclude a business with you. You start the business. Yes. You start talking about it. Yes. When it is time to complete, to start manifesting, you will not hear from them again. Yes. It, they never wanted you to count that kind of money. They divert it. Now, what you know, you cannot see it. You know interior decoration. Yes, sir. Eh? That is your business. Yes. And it's a very lucrative business. But they don't see her. Are you seeing now? It's so plain. So on Sunday last service, last Sunday service, the man of God located me and he prophesied to me. He told me that uh, my business had been having ups and downs. And after he prayed for me, that oh. the door would be open. So I keyed into that prayer. Then the client I, the last client I sent a quotation to, called me this week and he was like, hello Sandra, when do you want to start your job? I was like, wow, and I've been waiting for you to give me feedback. I was like, okay, the work will start immediately, your payment has been done. And he said, okay, am I still using the same account I gave to him? I said, yes. And he paid the money into my account. So I want to thank God for what he did. He has been giving prophecy in this commission that the Delta State Government will uplift me to the position of a permanent secretary. You said, but in human, you can celebrate. I will do the calculation. You can see now, a prophecy is released, but there is, as an accountant by his grace, in the state for the past six years, I'm also the auditor of all accountants in Delta State, and presently now, I'm also the auditor in the Ministry of Justice. What did you do? You said she will, he will not celebrate. That is what I'm asking. Because of this woman now. This I don't even want her to celebrate. Okay, you are the one I saw where they are decorating her in Delta State. Why of the permanent secretary? So shall it be now. Amen. And I don't look know at it, Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Go. Congratulations, sir. You remember I told you that this. That was precisely on Wednesday. The young girl permanent secretary. This is my senior colleague came he to said me. So you will have said, more time before your retirement. Not the one that will join enter today, for, tomorrow he retire. You to no, you will have long time. To some, as I got directly to the officer's office, immediately he saw me. He does no. What happened was when I got to the office, I met so many persons in the waiting room. I filled my form. Just within a minute, he has the secretary to call me in. I went there. See Nelson. Okay, 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 No, you are going there, you are going there, you are going there, you are going there. Huh? I just looked at it. The next thing he said they should call the permanent secretary. Take Nelson's name to that place. So, what the permanent secretary said, he said, young man, you are really serving God. He said, this list of persons in this posting, we are supposed to have done it since two days ago. The person involved, and I said I should follow him to his office. And I followed him. I gave him my details. 
this thing happened on Wednesday. So on Thursday service, my wife came home and told me that in the process of the service, daddy told her congratulations. I was thinking, I kept moot over it. I never mentioned anything to her. So that was just this Friday. One of my colleagues just called. He said, my name is already out. <laughs> that, that this new ministry that was created by the present governor, that they have made me as the director of finance and account. Celebrate Jesus Christ! So, as I'm even talking now, I think I got the information very late on Friday. So many persons have been sending me messages. Even the letter they have sent it to me, but I've not signed for it. Which I will do tomorrow morning. I just want to say a word. I think by his grace, for the past five or six years, I've been the main leader of this commission. And again, for the past four years, I've also been the chairman of the Avers Committee. Four or three years, thereabout. But there's something, when I started this commission, there's a word my father said. When something happened, he said, look, work for God, God will work for you. That is something I always have in mind. And that thing has been part of me. And I want to say with all humility, what I've seen now is just the beginning. Based on my staying in this commission, I know my father I'm following. I know who he is. So I want to thank him, Daddy. You are a great father. I appreciate you. And not only that, sir. I knew how I came into this commission. I knew how you've changed my life, my family, my wife precisely. I knew what you have done in my home. As I'm talking now, three of my children, they are in the university. My son, my first son is doing his clearance. So what do I need from God again? The only thing I will continue doing is just to continue appreciating him. Thank you, Daddy. Praise the Lord. Good day, faith by name. I want to thank God for what God has done. It happened on last week, Friday and Saturday, when we are having workers' meeting. So after the workers' meeting, our daddy called and said, who the mother died on one sickness or one problem or the other is the person having having that, I mean, the, 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 the serious of, is having the pain or is having the challenge or what killed the mother or the father. Yes, he said, if you are here, if you know you are having that symptom, come out. Is he, I say, is this from the whole family? That's what they, on your mother's side. That's what killed your mother. Give me your hand. Touch it. Can you see? Oh, sir. Not that they are not eating, no. Are you seeing now? And I quickly, I run outside with other people came. And uh, behold, the man of God asked me, I should give me his hand. And immediately he checked me. And he asked me to place my hand in my belly. That was so sad, is the problem. And that is what killed my mother. So immediately I placed my hand there. In fact, it was fire, I, I don't know. But um, what I want to tell you is that as soon as I got home, I killed to that. And as soon as I get home, I didn't feel any pain of this ulcer. Try to crown it out, it was yesterday I, I, I tried to eat what I don't eat. Since January, my mouth has not tasted beans. If you are cooking beans, it's like I want to swallow the pot. But that yesterday on Saturday, in fact, I, I wanted to take pap. But my neighbor was inside my flat, was cooking the, I, the aroma was too much. I said, hey, get me the beans. And by faith, and I eat the beans, I eat it, and I say, to God be the glory. I eat. There was nothing wrong with my stomach. In fact, I am free. I sleep fine. I wake up this morning. There's no pain on my stomach. I've come to return all the glory to God. I said to him, be the glory in Jesus' name.